Hello and welcome to Spotlight. Today we are talking about the Tika T3X Arctic. So this is the commercial version of their same rifle used by the Canadian Rangers. And if you haven't heard of them, what they basically do, they're a part of the Canadian Armed Forces Reserve and they basically patrol the northern remote parts of Canada for reasons of uh, national security, uh, wildlife preservation, uh, search and rescue, and, and, and that sort of thing. Now as such, they have to do their job in pretty hostile environments. Because they're so far away from civilization, they have to be very self-reliant. Now for 70 years or so, their rifle for that task was the Lee Enfield 303, a rifle used by the Brits. Now the thing is with that is that rifle was pretty outdated, it was, it was old, it was heavy, and parts availability was really starting to show the shortcomings of that rifle. So the Rangers were asking for a rifle that was not only lighter than the Enfield, but also shorter, more compact, but extremely dependable. Now when I say dependable, it's worth understanding what types of environments this rifle would be subjected to. Uh, bear in mind the fact that Canada has the most coastlines of any nation on Earth. It has over half of all the coastlines on Earth. So there's a lot of salt in the air, there's a lot of moisture, and of course being northern Canada it is very cold. And as uh, temperatures go, it's supposed to be usable from temperatures from minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit up to over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And it has to do that while still maintaining that resistance to the nasty salty air. Now that's a tall order, but Tika has come to the rescue with, of course, this rifle, the Arctic. Now the official version of this rifle is dubbed the C-19 when used by the Rangers. And due to requirements by the Canadian government, it is made under license by Colt in Ontario. Now the commercial version, the one that we sell here at Euro Optic, is still made in Finland like the rest of the Tikas, and we do see a lot in common that's shared with their other rifles. So we see a lot of the CTR in, in particular here. It has the same action that we've known and loved with all the Tikas, and uh, this one has a screwed on Picatinny rail, zero MOA, and it has a rear iron sight that is actually attached to the dovetail. Now this rear iron sight, is a thing of beauty because it has positions from point blank out to 600 meters and it uses this uh, rotational device here. It's very easy to use, especially wearing gloves, and because it's protected by these little wings here, it's not going to be hit by accident, especially when you look at the, the means of transport that they use. It's very common to see this rifle strapped to a sled or horseback or ATV or that sort of thing, they're just stuck to the side. So it's good to make sure that your sights don't get changed. Now, should you choose to put a scope on this, bear in mind the height here between the top highest point of the iron sight and the rail itself, I measured to be about 0.650 inches. Now the bolt itself is sort of like the CTR and Attack A1, same sort of shape, same sort of size, but on this one it's made fully of stainless, whereas on the other rifles, it's mostly stainless with a bit of polymer added to the end of it. But uh, yeah, this one, nice solid chunk here. And down below, we do have the same magazine that's used by the CTR and the TAC A1. So you get 10 or five round capacity. Should you get the five round, like if you wanna hunt with this and you need to maintain compliance in your state, the five round mag is the same size as this, it's just blocked. Now like the TAC A1, it does have a two-stage trigger of the two to four pound variety. And uh, it's a personal favorite of mine. The uh, two-stage trigger is very, very nice on this. You have a very nice light take up, very well-defined second stage, and a very good break. The stock is birch laminate, and uh, the ones we get will all have this sort of black, orange, and gray sort of scheme to it. One of the differences I have seen between this and the official C19 rifle, I have seen their rifles be a little bit more red, but all the ones that we get will have this black, orange, and gray. The barrel itself is the same barrel that you get on a CTR, basically, so same contour at the muzzle, 0.79 inches I, I uh, mic'd out, and uh, we will have this in 6.5 Creedmoor with an eight twist or 308 with an 11 twist. It's got a semi-hooded front sight, and because I was not able to find the official size of the front sight blade itself, I did try and measure it, 
at uh, 0 0.048 inches. Could be off by a couple thousandths, but uh, that's what I did find there. The sight does attach to the barrel by threading on, and then it does index itself on a cut on the top of the barrel here. The threads underneath it are 5 8 by 24, so if you did want to temporarily take this off to run a suppressor while hunting, if you have a scope on it or something of that nature, you can do it. And for what it's worth, sight radius is a smidge over 24 inches. So final thoughts on, on the rifle, it is a little bit niche because uh, the iron sight thing is not something that you typically see on rifles like this, but I do like it. Using the sights is very nice, two-stage trigger, box mag. The stock shape is set up very well, so if you do want to put a bipod on it or kind of shoot it offhand, the positioning of it, the ergonomics are very, very solid. And of course, it's a Tika, so it'll shoot extremely well. Now, on to the giveaway. Surefire Stiletto is what we are giving away on this episode of Spotlight. So to qualify to get this, just subscribe to our channel. Make sure you have contact info on your channel. That way we can tell you that you've won this. And uh, down below, leave us a comment. Tell us what you use this rifle for. I mean, we'd like to hear stories if you use it for just offhand target shooting, hunting, anything like that. So let us know how you use this rifle. As always, please like and share this video and you'll also find us on Facebook and Instagram and we'll see you next time.